Hey yo, what's going That's on guys? Really Welcome back to the channel. So, I think the conversation that needs to be had here is effectively an opinion. And I won't say that this opinion is unbiased. It's a collective opinion that many fans of the late XXX and Tassimo have verbalized and vocalized over the years since his passing. But that's this is not a smear video. This is this is the circumstance of what it is and what it has not been. So <clears throat> XXX Tentacion, real name just Jose Ricardo Onfoy, un sadly lost his life in 2018. We all know this. From the time of his passing came a lot. The passing of XXX Tentacion came nothing short of eight months after the passing of rapper Little Peep, who died of an accidental drug overdose back in November of 2017. This death later followed the overdose of rapper Gerard Wiggins, aka Juice World, in 2019. On the beat. Now, many fans have been expressive about their support and love of XXX Tentacion even after his passing as well as, you know, their consistent support of his music, the career he showcased, even going as far as to spawn four studio albums, four mixtapes, two EPs, as well as a documentary series focused on the life and times of, of his career. Recently, there has been a reveal by members only DJ, as well as close friend of Triple X, DJ Scheme, who promptly tweeted a tweet, hashtag are y'all ready, BF, BVF, which is short for Bad Vibes Only, which was not only the slogan of Triple X, but also the name of what would have been his indie label, which he founded as a collective and later as a record label in the early stages of 2017. The tweet revealed that there are two, not one, but two Juice World collaborative tracks in the, in the making. No release, but we do have them. Now that we've got all of that out the way, let's go ahead and get to the nit to and grit of this whole video. In the six years since XXX Tentacion's passing, we have had two studio albums promiscuously released, as well as some of his early release music being put on streaming services. And... To be frank, it's not satisfying to a certain degree, and I'm gonna explain why. XXX's career was short-lived, but left a prominent impact to the point where he has been the most streamed artist on Spotify several times, multiple songs of his reaching a billion streams, even going as far as to breaking the record for being the highest subscribed YouTube rapper which stands at over at close to 50 million at this at the recording of this video now this is not a complaint this is an opinion and i want everybody to understand that this is an opinion video this is not to smear x's mother who he left everything to in his will none of that this is a strictly opinionated bias video with the money that triple x made through his career and obviously paying the lawyer fees to convict obviously his murderers which we got a conviction earlier this year the concept of why XXX's estate has not provided more than what they've been giving in terms of his, rec his recording career now some of you may remember during the early months of X's passing there was a contest for directing and ultimately being featured a music video for his upcoming music which this include Bad as well as his song Sauce which ultimately was given to videographer and animator Tristan Zamet. Now ultimately we never got a lot of music videos featuring Triple X in the time of his life and that's obviously a part of his artistry as a human being i respect that but in the timing that he has passed there has been no sh no short of videography in terms of his career and his unreleased music now 
what makes it upsetting is the concept that we know that there are many pictures of XXX Tentacion, there are many videos of XXX Tentacion, and just by comparison, Lil Peep, whose family recently got his entire catalog back from Columbia Records after they had purchased his catalog shortly after his death, they have recently been re releasing music featuring old and unused footage for music videos. So my thing about it is, it's like, the time and effort, regardless of reasoning, that I'm not saying his estate is obligated to explain, but we were supposed to get a track with The Weeknd, Rihanna, out of all of the unreleased music that Triple X does have, we have not gotten. And there's been multiple sources claiming that they were either lost or they're just not going to be released through his label, considering obviously he's not here to finish the project. And this is very occurrent to the last album he had in his lifetime, which was tentatively titled Bad Vibes Forever, which featured one music video which was that which again tentatively titled bad vibes forever which featured trippy red and the late pnb rock who sadly passed away in 2022 so the factors of it here are the amount of money that xxx tentacion made in his career versus what it's being used for because in one of his lives he said and i quote if he di if i die I at least want to know it helped 5 million kids, you know, and in hindsight, I understand the process, like his mother was, is grieving the loss of her, one of her oldest children, so I understand, like, it's a process that you will never fully heal from, but in the concernment of consistently keeping your son's memory alive, like, managing his Instagram account for example you you see other deceased artists such as Juice World and Lil Peep whose estate posts like old photos you know stuff like that just memorabilia in general and I feel like a lot of the music that really gave us the XXX we all know versus the XXX that passed away is two different types of two different types because there's even his mother had stated that there's many release, other released songs that just are probably not going to come out. And even though she herself is in charge of his estate, in the same process, I feel like she can buy back his catalog just like Little Peep's family did. And unfortunately, I don't want to see X's career and his hard work be sold off to the highest bidder like they did Juice World, sadly. Because a lot of you haven't probably have seen and probably haven't seen that Juice World's catalog, the remaining catalog, which contained over 3,000 plus songs, was sold for $100 million. And unfortunately, after the next album that we get from Juice World will in fact be the last, and the rest is just leaked music on SoundCloud, YouTube, and now that AI music is taking over, there's the consistency of those two things happening. So honestly, even though it has been six years since Tentacion's passing, I feel like the career path that he had could have been managed so much better. And it's not that I'm trying to keep his legacy alive. I've honestly made my remix for Triple X. I made mixes and done covers myself. I can't complain about that. He was a talented artist and a fantastic icon in his own right. But to me, I feel like the people he left his his left his legacy to could have handled it a lot better than what it has been handled as. And even now, with it being six years, I don't feel like the remainder of XXX Tentacion is going to continue any further because even with unreleased music being available or unavailable, the Look At Me documentary only featured songs that made him popular. And I feel like, again, his estate is only prioritizing what made him popular versus the songs that 
you know, what would have been his bigger sellers, you know, and even now, like, we still don't have any music videos outside the ones he recorded, and the last recorded music video he had for, in his lifetime was for his question mark single, Sad, and like I said, I'm not, obviously, there, I'm not gonna place judgment on his mother, that's far too inappropriate, but it's, it's the concept of what are you doing with his estate, and if you are doing something, what can his fans do to help? Because obviously there's a long fan base that still loves and treasures XXX Tentacion and the career he left behind, as well as the multi the multiple artists that he worked with in a time period that he was still here. Even promotions releases. You know, the songs with Trippy Red, the songs with Ski Mask, you know, there's a lot of unanswered questions and even though me as a fan and, you know, making a video where, oh, he's got unreleased songs with PNB Rock, he's got unreleased songs with Juice World, he had an unreleased, now it's an official release for, with, with Lil Uzi Vert, you know, it's many videos that we never really got, and we got music videos that were, you know, just, just forgotten about, like, for example, there was a Lil Nas X and an X on the same song. But because of, I guess, from the official statement, because of Lil, because of fans complaining about Lil Nas used to diss X back in the day, they felt like the song wouldn't do no numbers. But a lot of fans, even Lil Nas X himself, said, "Yeah, I would have loved to have worked with him." Even regarding what he, forgetting what he did in the past, you know, it's it's a lot of it's a lot going on with that. And even now, when we go back into the future, we had we had conversation. They've had multiple conversations about Juice World being on the same song with X. We later got confirmation that it wasn't even. It's not an official song. It's a mashup, and then it got leaked or whatever. And then the, before the leak happened, they said it was a remix of Juice World being on "Woe in My Mind" from his Skins album, which came out the same year as his passing, which allegedly juice world was actually a part of and that the remix was actually scrapped because they wanted it to feature primarily just x so even with him having big name features and collectively being responsible for multiple people's careers becoming what they are today because if it wasn't for x we wouldn't have members only we wouldn't have ski mask we wouldn't have trippy red we wouldn't have six nine the juice world Lil Peep, we wouldn't have those artists, you know, and if it wasn't for Lil Peep and Triple X, we would not have the artists that we have today, and it's a lot of artists that I'm sure a lot of you can say, oh, paved the way, quote, but I feel like at this point, I respect the privacy of X's family by not giving an explanation, and I respect the privacy of X's family trying to keep the legacy for him as well as to the best of their ability. But at the end of the day, if it really is just about money and it's not about his legacy, then it just needs to stop. Because just putting out half his catalog but not promoting it or showing any form of growth in the process like oh it what like how many how many years has the song I don't want to do this anymore been out? been some years it's been like six years since that six or seven years since that song dropped we have never got a music video for it we never got a promotion video for it we just haven't it's some of his they only focused on making his hottest songs but again if that was really the case songs like everybody dies in their nightmares would have a music video for it especially considering the look at me documentary dropped you know, all the songs that were primarily featured and primarily made him popular. You know, if they really want to go down this road of prioritizing whatever they want to do it for. But again, like I said, that's just my opinion. I don't I don't have any issues with X's estate. I don't have any issues with how X's legacy is being carried. That's not that wasn't my son, that wasn't my brother, so I can't speak on I'm only speaking on it from the outside perspective as a fan. You know, somebody that wants to see his career continue to stand out from where it was, you know. 
But let me know what you guys think. Do you think X's estate could be handled better, or should X's mother buy his catalog back from the label? Let me know what you guys think.